Welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today I am going to build a DIY fume extractor. Got a few parts from Walmart and decided to put it all together and make this ugly contraption to help remove some fumes while I'm doing some soldering. And what this basically is comprised of, I had a PC fan, a 80 millimeter, and I wanted to use that in conjunction with a cartridge filter with the charcoal in it. Um, got it in the pet section. Has also uh, got the container there just to cut up and to use as the holder for the filter. Went and got a three inch metal pipe, uh, duct pipe, and I used just a piece of cardboard wrapped with some duct tape to kind of strengthen it up because I had to fold it to put it in there and need some strength. But what I did was I just cut the bottom of the, uh, the container out, mounted the fan in there, and I created a little 3D uh, printed grill cover to go on it. I added a switch, as you can see, and I put a battery pack that runs off of lithium batteries. I started out using four, but I found out it was too much power, so I went down to three. So it's running right on 12 volts. So you can run with a 12 volt power supply if you've got a plug you wanna add in there to it, uh, cause these will run off of 12 volts. So what I've done is I mounted the fan, sealed it up there, got the switch on it, and I have added the baffle in there. And I just took here some caulk and kind of caulked it in there at an angle. That way it'd give me enough surface area to get that filter in there. And then cut a hole in the top and just kind of duct taped the, uh, the pipe onto the lid. And when I got it all finished here, you can see I got the filter in there and I just kind of put it up against the cardboard. And you can see where I have the, uh, the, the duct here kind of positioned and duct taped onto the lid and running it here with the three batteries. Um, I kind of went with this metal one. I was going to use a plastic um, uh, duct, uh, adjustable ducting here. Um, and I'm glad I went with this metal one because as you can see, you can kind of move it around. Whereas plastic one would just lay on the, the counter this you can move it up and down so as you can see it'll move and stay in the position you, you left, left, it, left it in and um, what I've got is I uh, want to show you here uh, I've got some batteries I've got to solder up as you can see I've got quite a few that I've got to get done there in the background and I'm going to be soldering these packs up and decided I needed the fume extractor because I used to just run the PC fan on the, the, the desk and it kind of just blew the fumes away but this will help and as you can see here it is with it off and when you start soldering it's inevitable that smoke and fumes just come right back at you you can see here it's coming right back toward the camera so with this running I'm gonna turn it on and it's just enough to pull it the fumes in I have this battery positioned about two to three inches from it uh, about six inches is about as far as I can go but you can see it's got a really good draw on it um, it, uh, it pulls it in and it runs it through that charcoal filter which helps remove some of the uh, toxins from it before venting it back out into the room but uh, it does a really good job uh, I might put an adapter on the end to kind of flatten it out um, but I would recommend um, you know like I said running it with a, a PC fan uh, you could get a 120 millimeter fan and probably go up to a 4 inch duct give you a little more volume. I just had this 80 millimeter, which worked pretty good because um, you can see the difference with it off and on here. I mean, it truly it truly does do a great job. So I would recommend uh, if you're ever gonna do a lot of uh, soldering to get one of these because this stuff is kind of toxic. Uh, you don't wanna be breathing it in. And uh, I've been needing this for a long time and I'm, it was a simple and easy project. It didn't cost very much money with just stuff I had laying around the house. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate it uh, stopping by. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I look forward to you to check out my future videos. Thanks and have a great day.